That belongs in a museum. I would favor Marco. There is such a huge tempo play in this in, uh, in this scenario. When your opponent is with two creatures, you will most likely will be able to kill the three two, have a yes. six five on board. You know there's no this room, right? And you will still have the sword of justice. Sword yep, of justice. Well, is. that's not really great. Well, then he wouldn't be able to kill the three two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but he does get to peck away at phase for one. It means Grom will come down as a 5-10. He potentially push through 11 damage, which doesn't Oh, that's will. actually okay. Yeah, the Execute keeps him alive because he could armor up to 14 right now. There's 13 represented on board plus the one from the dagger. So uh, <laughs> if he doesn't cast this Execute, he would be dead. So that card keeps him in it for at least one more turn. But as you say, Lothar, it looks like it's going to come down to the Varian. And honestly, with that Anubarak on board, it seems unlikely that Varian might even do enough. So, Shou needs to pick up 6 damage. So, an Eviscerate and something else. Oh! Fasia. Well, now he's not dead to double Cochrane Elite. That's very true. So, yeah, the, the one remaining out that we could <laughs> see has quickly been taken away from Life Coach with that Farsia draw. And There's there is Corcoran, Corcoran number lead. one, but even they're not going to get the job done. Life Coach drops the first game. And so one of the cards is going to actually maybe even help you win the entire match. Because if you hit, let's say, Imgang boss, perfect. That's like the, that's even better than Corcoran Elite. Yes. Um, so the Knife Juggler is going to come down here and try and tidy up some of this board. He's going to get two juggles, one from the Death Rattle, spawning the new 1-1. One, one. Voidwalk is going to come down alongside this. And if the second juggle oh, hits here, wow. okay. So now he can attack face with one of the one ones, trade the other one in, and we'll see where the huge toad goes. Okay, bit of uh, redemption for life coach takes out one of the one ones. A little bit, but it still looks horrible for life coach. How to make a comeback right now? He doesn't have an access to one. He likely will not die to the juggles from the knife juggler that turn, unless a second forbidden ritual will be, will be played. Right. So, I yeah. Feel like doesn't seem like too many superior options for life coach, right? I mean, he can, he can do something really drastic, like kill Commander Knife Juggler. Yeah, I was, I was about to talk about this line of play, and I don't see where this gets him, because like you said, he's bad in this matchup. And yeah, Flame Juggler, there's a very, very good target and a very bad target on this board. The 1-3 the kind of oh. splits in the middle, and yeah, life coach has just not had the juggles go his way. He had that one decent hit from the huge toad, but... That basically Look. only compensated for the good juggles in the first place from show, and now the, the gore go mock <laughs> is just devastating. This is into the flame yeah. juggler, and then um, gore mock the three-two instead for value. So it yeah. would have it'd been a slight difference. It would have been maybe like one less power on the board, something like that. But but still, still an access to, really to you know, that which needs to attack into the three-one, kill it with the two-five current drop, and still develop the Savannah high main. So the freezing trap. It's not really tech that great, right? Because you're losing the current grab. Oh, he didn't attack. Interesting. Yeah, again, I think he's just getting greedy for that extra charge of the bow. He doesn't want to use it up before that freezing and trap he... gets activated. And he is getting severely punished, punished for that level of greed right now. A five-card battle rage from Sho, picking up all the resources he could possibly want. Unfortunately, doesn't have the mana to fire it off again and get five more cards, but... In terms of dealing with a Savannah High Main, uh, these kind of patron-style decks, if you like, are one of the, the few archetypes in the game that can create these kind of insane turns where your opponent presents you with a very, very tricky-looking problem, and your response is to develop your board, draw five cards, and execute their minion. That's that's not something a lot of other decks are capable of. Yeah, this is this is like this this entire entire turn is the effect of Life Coach ignoring. Absolutely. Uh, cool. Otherwise, this wouldn't be possible. It would be just... These situational cards are kind of out of the question. You definitely would have expected to see a Gadgetan Auctioneer turn activated by now if it was one of those. So you're kind of only down to Leroy Jenkins and, and Cold Blood possibly conceal um, sat in the side of the hand. So I think it's it's fairly easy to put your opponent on a, on a read of having a great deal of damage built up in hand right now. I really like this. The Execute on the Azadrig like, allows Show to basically take control of the entire game. Hmm. Wow. Well, that sucks. Suddenly, your hand does not really do anything. I mean, I'm, I really dislike the cold blood last turn. It just gives so much information to your opponent. 
That's true, but at the same time, I mean, what what was his win condition otherwise? If he just took extra damage on the board and like, had the Azure Drake and try and find some way to answer this board on the following turn, that's not going to work out in any realistic world either, so... I think the play was just Leroy Jenkins. Conceal it. You know? Because then you can draw a Gazettan. Gazettan to prep. Sap. Sure. Get another card. Maybe, maybe it would be... Well, anyway, doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's, it's 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 either way, it's looking ropey. This is uh, the damage piling in. And oh, wait, he was up. one of Lethal. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, he's, he's a little way off. Um, so, But still, he's representing Lethal on this turn now, unless there is a miraculous card drawn here, which comes in the form purely of Gadgetan Auctioneer. Then that sap, although it looks appealing, is not quite enough to get the job done here because he cannot make the uh, Leroy Cold Blood hit face and conceal Gambit because he will just be dead on board to the remaining 3 3 in the weapon. So, although that sap looks like it might make some good things happen, it's not enough, or at least it's too little too late for Life Coach in this situation. And it looks like uh, Sho is going to wrap up the series. Wow. Life Coach just plays Leo Jenkins. Interesting. Well, he's just showing what he had. Yeah, I think this is just the concede play. Um, Rogues are uh, a little bit trigger happy with this sort of thing. Uh, the look how bad my hand was, kind of <laughs> gambit. But you know, no one put those ten dead cards in your deck. There's a reason that you play them in there, and that's because they're insanely powerful when it does work. So, that's little true. sympathy for the Miracle Rogue players who draw dead, but plenty of sympathy for Life Coach. He does go down for sh to show 